Previously, on Cradle to the Grave. Bed took the time to design a few blueprints. First one was a hexagonal pillar and template for decorating Cradle. He ventured up the west coast to find a sulfur node and encountered his first alpha hog that nearly sent him to meet his maker. Now armed with explosives, Bed's ready to tackle the blocked Caterium and coal nodes. Construction on a still unnamed coal power plant began with removal of vegetation and then time was spent designing a blueprint of a stand to lift the coal generators off the ground. Hello Pioneers, I hope you're well. My name is Bed and this is Satisfactory in my series Cradle to the Grave. A let's play laid back casual series where we're going to go from the cradle, here our first factory, to grave, which will be our final factory that's going to make all of the final space elevator parts. Coming up on this episode, we are going to venture out and find ourselves some quartz so we can build more of the coal generator stands that we designed last time out. Yeah, this right here. We need a little supply of quartz crystals to place down these blueprints. These are going to be stands for our coal generators. And then we're going to start on our coal power plant. Just up here to the north in this little area right here. So yeah, let's get into it. I love it, this game is so good. So that sort of works, because once you lock the blueprint, you can move it, but it's not exact. So what if we, what if we what? What if I take, what if I take a foundation and we'll put it right in the center? One, two, one, two, centered, centered. Put it right there, and then right there. Something like that. Now build the coal gen. Yeah, I was looking right at it. Yeah, so if I look right at the top of that, Is that, is that right? Well, let me just build it and look. I think it's right. Or is that, I, uh, my thinking is that I might have accidentally done a half nudge there. So the back of the stripe hits the, the light there and the light there. No, it's almost exact. Yeah, so let's get rid of the coal generator. Get rid of the blueprint. And that blueprint's done. Except now, now the blueprint requires quartz crystal and we do not have very much of it. So I need to add something to the to-do list that we're going to need to... Oh, I did do this. So that one's done. But now we need to procure quartz crystal. Let's see if they added any raw quartz nodes. Why is that one green? Hmm, that is true. Those quartz nodes right there are sort of close to where we're already going. Oh, nice. Rebar gun is excellent against hatchers. This... Whoa, that smoke in the air just startled me. <laughs> oh, I think I jerked and tweaked my back a little bit. I've got to get in shape. Oh yeah, look at the Lumen on this is crazy. Pretty though. Oh yeah, I know for sure that we've been there. First off, because I put those miners down. <laughs> but for two, I remember taking that same leap, jumping. Look how you get so much sky on the parachute. It's so cool. They're just, they're just the best. All right, so we're back here. We're finally back, ready to build. No, we're not. 
Alright, uh, power, biomass burner. We don't have any biomass, that's right. And then a constructor. So put the quartz in there. Power there. Need another container for the output. And a little bit of biomass. Let's put a craft it into better biomass so it lasts a little bit longer. Alright, that's pretty good. Should be plenty for a little while. There. Select the recipe. And we're all good. Alright, we're back and we're ready to... to talk. How long is this already? Was it, was it just exactly 20? I think I zooped out 10, but I might have done a little bit Filling in 20. So 10. 10 and 11. Would be the very center. Now I want to do a splitter array. But I want to kind of hide it in a little splitter array closet. That's not really important right now. Let's um, let's lay down this blueprint. Let's get another brand new hot bar. And what are we going to need in here? We're going to need power lines. We're going to need coal generator stand. We are going to need coal generators. Is that it for right now? We're gonna need walls and stuff. Let's, um, let's grab the blueprint first. And, um... Linus, I really did... I tweaked my back doing something. Oh, when I got startled by that thing, I jerked weird. Whoa, that smokes is... Whoa, 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 whoa. I really did, I really did. Whoa, 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 whoa. I really did, I really did. Chirk, 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 chirk. Whoa, chirked weird. Now my back hurts. Bed was literally sore for four days after. No, not like this. Let's go further this way. To leave room for some sort of closet over here. Yeah, and then the lines. Yeah, that's really good actually. Right there. Let's drop down a coal gen. And yep, right there. And then we can delete the foundation. Perfect. This is gonna be, this is definitely gonna be a multiple episode thing. I've already probably into the second episode of the cold gens. So now, what do I want? Now I'm going to need some walls. Ah, oh, that's right, we don't have steel walls yet, shit. Shoot. Um. That one, or yeah, 
right in the center of that. So what we need to do now is take conveyor wall, and lock the hologram, and lock it like that. And obviously that looks weird with this bump out here being over there. So what I think I'll do is I'll eliminate those. And instead of putting the walls on this grid here, we'll just have it shifted over. We'll fix it with an overlap somewhere hidden and nobody will know. Okay, now I need a belt. I love it, and I'm so happy right now. I stupidly put it right in the center, right? I was thinking, but we don't have an odd number, we have eight. So I don't want it directly in the center. I want it offset from the center. I only arbitrarily made it 20 wide, so I don't have to move this. We'll just change the shape of the building around it. But I did just have that thought, it occurred to me, and we should probably note that. So, this is like one foundation wide, but spread over two. So let's... Let's, no, let's do better than that. Excuse me. Let's um let's be better. All right, what I mean to say is that this spans two foundations, so I want to leave two as a break. So we're going to These should be Oh, they're not identical. There's an overlap difference right here. This overlaps. This doesn't. So the overlap is on this side. Let's make note of where the overlap is compared to the arrow. Shoot, I don't think I know. Is it noticeable? Right there. That's where you can see it. That overlap right there. So let's find that on the blueprint. It's right there on the left side. I can't point to it, obviously, and I'm gesturing at it, so it's backwards. That's right. That's right, because this is at the back. So what I'm trying to say is that we want the arrow to point southeast when we place it like this. There's a lot of words to say one simple idea, but I got there eventually. There. Something like that. So one, this is fine. One there, and then two gap between them. Two gap between them. Two gap between. Two gap between. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. And we need eight. Let me just check what's over here. coal, but you know what? The coal could be under the footprint of the power plant. That's not going to be a problem. It's not a problem for me anyway. So we can go out further. Or we can even curve. I don't need to make it rectangular. In fact, it's probably 
be a better build if I didn't make it rectangular. But I'm finally starting to build factories. I don't want to get in my head anymore, so we're just going to keep it rectangular for right now. Keep this factory rectangular, I mean. We might even build more coal power plants eventually, right? So, all right, what did I say that was five? I was gonna count it out, but who cares? Let's just zoop it out. Counting again, two, 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 one, one, blank, blank, dot, dot, blank, blank, dot, dot, blank, blank. Five, six, seven, oh, sweet Jesus. Ah, we're almost there. All right, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then blank, blank. Eight, and then we needed one more. Like that. There. There's the size of our factory floor. Uh, in this space, anyway. I don't think we'll put anything else over here. We will build down and around and up. Yeah. I love it. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Missing quartz. Oh, that's not a problem. Should have plenty over here, yeah. Awesome. All right, let's get into here. And we have procured quartz crystal. Perfect, and now we can run these. Um, now we can run the walls. So let's do that. There or there? Something like that, I think. Yep, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna run the rest of these walls. Yeah, I completely forgot uh, to lay these ones down. <laughs> I just didn't even build the frame, so I didn't think to build the coal gen. So that's not a problem. Pretty fun, I'm having a great time. How are you? Are you still enjoying 1.0? How are you enjoying the videos? Let me know down in the comments below, please. And if you wanna hang out and talk about Satisfactory with me, join the Discord. The link's in the description below. Now, should I add some sort of support under, under the um, conveyor belt? I like those ones. Hmm, these are kind of cool. What if we take the, the barrier and just... that and then how far is this about quarter it's about one two three and a half so one 
0.75 ish. To, to find the midpoint, I'm trying to say. Point. So one, two, one, two. Something like that would be cool. And then, and then what? Maybe like some walkways? I think I love that. Well, especially not there where it's clipping in. All right, let's. There was a swing and a miss. Maybe I don't love these things. Or maybe I really do just need to use beams. I need colors for this factory. Different colors. Let's try that one and see. I have, um, I'm feeling more hopeful about this one than the catwalk. Yeah, I like that, it's pretty cool. Cool, it's gonna take us some time to build by hand. And that's okay, I'll do that, but I, oh, actually, I wonder if, yeah, I could probably z just zoop it over. Yes. Pretty happy we spaced it evenly. Yep, so I got a pretty good technique here going, just zoop it down around to put them in the right spot and then I just go back and delete it. It's gonna beat having to build the walls in the middle every time. So just going both ways with these and then um, I'm gonna add the walls and the belts. We're making pretty great progress. That took but a second except now seeing that I have a gap right there that I don't love. Let's see if we can't Put it against the wall. Yeah, I think that'll look better. So we'll do it to 28 meters. Perfect. Awesome. I love it. Let's, uh, okay, let's delete the supports under these. And then... What do we do now? I don't want to keep this white. We built... Cradle in white. Well, I guess Cradle is black and white. I did think to add a... I was going to make... Cradle, black, white, and red, I think, is an accent color. Maybe do the machines in red, or I might just do all the machines in carbon steel everywhere, or, or even unpainted. I don't know. Everything is just so cool. But I like this. Belts look nice and supported. It's very cool. Maybe we should play with some different colors. power plant. Be nice to, well, I, I was gonna say it'd be, you know, reasonable to think that it's going to be dirty and dusty and coaly, but, you know, we're also really advanced 
maybe it's super clean. Maybe white does fit it. All right, so now we need to replicate this three more times, right? So, hmm. How much power is that? How much power do these each generate? I want to say it's 75 megawatts. Yeah. So 75 megawatts times 32. 2400 megawatts. Interesting. So what do we need to do? We need to build this four more times. We need to build the water extractors and bring the water over and run the pipes. I'm thinking to run the pipes from the ceiling and then drop them down. And we're going to need, like I said, to duplicate this three more times. So we're going to need more floors. We need to decorate the outside of the shell. We need to set up the coal. I have enough. I have an amazing idea. Uh, amazing might be the wrong word. Hmm. Just grab more walls. And I need to put down a foundation. Something like that. That'll be good. Now let's grab some stairs. Or a ladder, I mean. There. Hmm. Probably go a little bit lower. Okay, let's just, what if we plan the floor for right here? Alright, so something like this. Mm, not something like that. I meant to make those one meter or even two meters, but not four meters. Let's do something like that. And now, let's do, let's make this like a one. Okay, now let's grab the circle of foundation thingies, inner corner extension. to line up something like that to go all the way around it something like that is that right or am I overthinking this can it be both To that one. Missed the mark on that one. <laughs> Needs to be in the middle. Yeah, I love it. That looks pretty cool. So now I can grab. foundations like this. Yeah. Because they're exactly two. Everything is two foundations apart. So we can go one, two, and then build another one. But no sense in building it on this level. I haven't measured it from the ceiling yet. So what I really want to do is... Uh-oh, I'm out of concrete. Uh-oh. 
the dimensional depots out of concrete. I really need to take the time and make a steel factory to get hypertubes because now I have to walk all the way back. Bad plays game. Bad plays game. Bad plays game. Bad plays games. Bad plays games. Bad.